is it possible that for every 100 ounces traded on electronic exchanges, there may not be even one ounce of real gold backing it up? The term Ponzi scheme comes up. The customer or client thinks he or she has something, but doesn't. A large prominent bullion bank was said to be misleading its customers. Lawyer Samuel Sporn led the class action suit. I was approached about seven years ago by a gentleman by the name of Silverblatt, who had silver bullion, and he wanted delivery. Mr. Silverblatt, along with thousands of customers, thought they were buying bars of silver, silver in a vault, allocated or set aside in their name. Similar cases have arisen over gold. In addition to being charged for the silver, they were charged storage fees. But it appears there is no silver being stored. Nowhere is it stated in clear, good English language that we are not purchasing actual commodity gold, silver, or platinum. It's only unallocated, and it's a paper purchase. It's a position you have. You do not own the physical commodity. And then the customer says, my goodness gracious, I've been paying storage fees for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it may be. Why? The client is led to believe that he, she, or it has ownership. So that is the fraud. The class action suit was settled in favor of those suing before it came to trial. They recouped $4.5 million 